this week we are going to rewind it back hunting some big bucks. Yeah, dude, he's a stud. Go down. Boom, baby! Could be one of the best kept secrets in deer hunting. <laughs> Let's go, baby! If you've kept up with Realtree Road Trips much, you know how much we love to hunt the state of Nebraska. I mean, this place is absolutely special to us. From early season to late season, it has always treated us well. Yes, man, so excited. What a great hunt in Nebraska. Look. Right here he is, yes! <laughs> oh, man. All day, <laughs> it paid off. There are so many good memories from Nebraska, from the hunts to awesome friends we've had in camp. It's just as good as it gets when it comes to hunting. I think what makes this camp so special is that it really is has a small town deer camp vibe and feel. You're way out in the middle of nowhere. You can sit back, relax, hunt, and have a great time while doing it. Holy smokes. There he is. There he is right there. Yes. As far as the habitat, what makes it so much fun to hunt is just how diverse it is. We can hunt anything from thick cedar draws to open alfalfa fields, big cattle pastures, or the wide open rolling sand hills. And the cool thing about it is they all hold big bucks. Probably my favorite time to hunt out there is early season. It opens up on September 1st every year. The deer for the most part are still holding their summer patterns and you could get a chance at a velvet buck as well. This year, Road Trips producer Brian Brown is joining Nebraska by Derek Carraway, John Langston, and Jordan Spencer. Nebraska could be one of the best kept secrets in deer hunting. September 4th, Tyler just killed a deer yesterday in Wyoming. And we are back in my favorite place in the world. You know I'm excited when I get up at 3.30 and drive from Wyoming in time to get here to hunt this evening. I think we got a good starting spot for tonight. We're actually gonna kind of game plan it just like we did last year. We're gonna go in and hunt the same stand that we hunted last year, the double lock on set where we hung right at the gate opening. And there's several good deer in there. So I'm excited to see what we see tonight. Kind of playing it safe, but definitely still have a chance to kill. hunt last night and I fired up my buddy Derek Caraway from Whitaker Guns is gonna be in camp he's gonna meet us up here uh, headed to Sean's right now we're gonna be ready to get after it this evening so we'll meet him down here and game plan a little bit keep the road trip rolling oh. 
Changing up our game plan again a little bit today. It's kind of, kind of hate to keep jumping around, but we're just kind of playing the wind. Not sure if you can tell how hot it is from the sweat that's dripping off my brow, but it is, it is hot, hot. It's like 93 or 94, but the wind is kind of forcing us to come over here. Just got back to camp and got word that Derek struck. I think it took him about 30 minutes to draw back and shoot one. So we're pumped up, but he's they're sitting down there waiting. So we're gonna go recover him. He said he smoked him. Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm happy. Well, let's go so get him. Let's go. Gosh, dang it! I'm excited. Yeah. I am too. Good job. Look at look at this right here. Look where he went through there. That's a good one. I'm tickled. <laughs> I'm telling you. Where's the good dude? Awesome. Dude. Heck yes. Yeah, he punched through both sides. Here's the shot. That's the other side of him. That's a pretty good mass. My first Nebraska buck. Look at the body. He's huge. Who's dragging him up the hill? <laughs> hey, man. Come on now. Come on. This is the exit side because I shot him from the other side. Yeah. Heck yeah. Holy. I'm tickled. Congratulations, I'm sir. Thank you, Sean. Little velvet hanging out there. Yeah, he does. He just can't beat me the early season. Dude. It's so no. pretty. That's a bad. Dude, look at look at that shoulder. I don't know how we're gonna get him. I, I mean, I don't know how you are either. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Tyler when you need him? <laughs> We did, did it. We did it. What the heck did you just do? Just shot my first mule deer. <laughs> That's awesome. Not only that, it's my first mule deer, first velvet buck, first hunt in South Dakota. Heck yeah. It was awesome. It was too cool. Y'all putting the daggum pressure on me. Man, I tell you what, I was telling Shane, I said, man, real trees just made a dream come true. That's cool, man. It's, it's, this was. An absolute dream. I'm happy for you. It was so cool, man. We we seen him, and then he went down in this valley, and uh, our guides, uh, Noah and Sheldon over there, they're like, Sheldon told me exactly where to go. Did exactly what he said, came up over the ridge, and then he was there right behind some of this brush. So we crawled the rest of the way, crawled up to 33 yards, and Seriously? just smoked him. <laughs> Go down, go down. Boom, baby! Woo! That's my first mule deer. 
I just smoked him at 33 yards. Whew. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just. Oh, uh, I can't wait to see the footage. Oh, it's awesome, dude. <laughs> It was fired up. I don't know what happened after I shot. I knew I was kind of yelling and screaming and I had to apologize to those guys, but <laughs> I was I was fired up, man. It was and I watched them drop. Did you? Yeah. How far did it go? 20 maybe 25 yards. Golly, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, man. I can't thank y'all enough. This has been awesome. Okay, bags. So. Just got up to camp uh, up here in Nebraska at my buddy Sean's place. Got my bow dialed in after a long day of traveling, so uh, see if we can't get it done tonight. Weather's looking good, wind's good, so uh, fingers crossed, come on. Just got set up here in, uh, on this alfalfa field. Let's see if we can't get it done tonight. I'll tell you that was the most deer I've ever seen in one sit, so that was pretty awesome. But uh, none of them got into shooting range. But we saw a Big Tim, the I guess Big Gate Tim was that was that him? Probably. Uh, so we're gonna try to sit in the morning, so we'll get some sleep, get some burgers, and hit the hay. We'll see you tomorrow. We decided to come back to this alfalfa. Yesterday afternoon where they were wanting to feed around these trees and we got a set up right here right where they were and so This morning was a slow one Storm came through so we had to get out and didn't see anything but, um, It looks pretty promising this afternoon better weather than yesterday a better wind so um, Got a good feeling Absolutely covered up in here right now. I haven't moved really at all. 
I'm creeping up on it, so it's looking good. Just bed it down. Want to give him some time. Man, I felt good. I, I shot felt good. It sounded good, so I shot felt good. It sounded good. But, uh, most of them. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at the footage to see where I hit him. But, uh, we're going to let him lay for a while. And we'll come back and see if we can find him. You see it? Yeah, I did. That was awesome, dude. That was a good shot. Thanks, man. What, uh, I mean, I think it's a little back, though, so I think we're going to give him some time. I don't know. We think it's probably dead centered like liver, so we're thinking giving him four hours and then going in. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, did, what, what stand were you in? I was right there on the alfalfa field, uh, and, no. and Brian, where Brian killed last okay, year. Brian, yeah. Heck yeah. Dude, it was awesome. We had two shooters in the field. We were concentrated on one, and then I picked over my shoulder, and uh, and there he was about 68 yards behind me, and it took him about 20 minutes to make his way step by step, but he eventually got to about 48, and then he kind of turned, turned to me and turned the other way, and I ranged him last, and he was 45 yards, and I was like, well, I don't, I don't think it's getting any lighter, and I don't think he's getting any closer. So. All right. Well, y'all, y'all send me pictures. Hope, hope y'all, hope y'all find him quick. We'll do, bud. I'll holler at you later. I'll send you pictures. All right. All right. See you, Tyler. See you, bud. I'd kind of call that liver blood. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of went this way, and then kind of went back. Where do, you, where do you think he bedded? I mean, I thought, I thought I maybe would find him dead in the corner, but I didn't. I found him dead right across the fence. Let's go! Come on, buddy. Let's, Let's go. go. Good job. <laughs> so he did jump the fence. That oh. is... Enormous. Oh, God. A, Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's a five, six year old easy. Yeah, well, I mean, it was exactly where we thought. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Well, what a tank, dude. Look at this. I mean, 
This is probably my biggest body deer. I mean, that's big. That's, that's incredible, man. First Nebraska deer. Brian, what a memory some, right there. Brian had some encounters with him. Yeah, we, I think he ran across from us yesterday. He's the um, one that went out by the redneck bail blind. Yep. Ran right across from us. Sean, I can't thank you enough, buddy. You're welcome. It's awesome. Now we can call Tyler or we'll send him pictures because it's what? Yeah. Two, two, Georgia two hours behind? One. I think it's one. one. We're at Central Time. So it's one in the yeah. morning there. Oh my God. That's amazing, dude.